I will never make an exception for vegetable oils and industrial seed oils because that sticks around for weeks to months. Mm -hmm. Okay, I read a study that showed it took four and a half months to get rid of the inflammation that these unstable fats caused around the cell membrane just from eating one meal with these vegetable oils. So that's the one thing I make no exception on. But if you're going to have the ice cream, you're going to have the other things, you could burn down the excess blood sugar. You can't burn off these bad fats. So it's very important to understand that and mm -hmm. to make sure you're making no exceptions with those vegetable oils too. Totally. I love that. And I think anybody who's listened to uh, either one of our content or listened to this podcast, I think vegetable oils comes up every single time because, you know, it's like it, we get so hung up with sugar, right, on keto. And I always tell people, it's like, if I had to choose between the two, I would definitely choose sugar before I would choose uh, vegetable Same. oils because, you know, you talk about even looking at insulin resistance, there's so much research out there showing that vegetable oils, particularly linoleic acid, um, and, and especially damaged linoleic acid when it's in that form of, uh, you know, an extracted oil, uh, not from really a whole food source, uh, it causes insulin resistance. And, you know, maybe there's even starting to be the argument of like, what comes first, chicken or the egg? Is it, you know, insulin resistance from our overconsumption of vegetable oils or is it from our overconsumption of glucose? And I don't know that we really have an answer to that yet. I mean, we do know that definitely having both of them is a recipe for disaster, which, you know, is the standard American diet. Diet. Um, but I love that you, you bring that up. Um, and just quickly for anybody who's not familiar, what would be the most common foods that would have vegetable oils in it for people to avoid? Well, we want to, we want to look at the ingredients, never mm -hmm. fall for the brilliant marketing. Uh, make sure you're turning that product around and looking at and reading the exact ingredients. And you want to make sure it doesn't have canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, mm -hmm. grapeseed oil, cottonseed oil, safflower oil, rice bran oil, uh, peanut oil, uh, I don't know if I said safflower oil, but th these are very inflammatory, unstable fats. Now, sunflower oil and, sun, uh, and, and safflower oil can be a healthy source as long as it's organic, cold pressed, mm -hmm. but usually they're not. So just make sure you're reading those ingredients. They're very unstable. It's funny, Chris, because I recently did a video on my TikTok channel where I did a screen share and I showed uh, the YouTube video of how canola oil is made. It's a disgusting process. It's like, oh my gosh, I, you, you got to watch the video. If you haven't seen it, I just have, go on yeah. YouTube and type in. You've seen it, right? Yeah, it's bad. So for your audience, <laughs> just type in canola oil, how it's made. But what was so alarming to me was that I, the video had a lot of views, I think over 100,000. But what was alarming to me, there was hundreds of comments that said, "What? Well, nothing wrong there. That's a beautiful process. Like, I don't see what's wrong here. They have been kind of manipulated by the system, if you will. But And then I did a follow-up video. And the reason that it's bad for you is because it's very unstable. Mm -hmm. They are oxidized. And then you heat them up, they become oxidized even more. And it's creating inflammation around your cells. And to Chris's point, it could blunt those insulin receptor sites and then lead to a higher production of insulin that's needed. And then burn out the pancreas, leading to insulin resistance and even eventually type 2 diabetes. So we want to make sure we're not consuming that. We're consuming stable fats like avocado oil, coconut oil, grass-fed butter, grass-fed ghee, olive oil. These are more stable fats that could actually support the cells and the membrane. 